So they gave me a vision that said she was with a girl and she was worried about if they keep her around this girl too much that she's gonna end up a lesbian. And when I pulled up to, uh, pulled up to Hotel Irwin, where they were keeping all these sex trafficking victims, I actually caught them doing this. And they had, they had, they had a car out back with tape over its license plate. And she, actually, she was in there. I don't know how I got her out of it. I think I got her out. I think the military got her out of it or something weird is going on. But, um, so, yeah, I talked her into going and meeting up with some friends and the people that she was being introduced to was people that the military was introducing to her. So they messed her around a little bit, but I think she's fine. But, um, the, uh, but yeah, there was a vision and I saw her walking into a building with another girl and they were, it w there was a concern there and I could feel the lesbian energy and she was like, I'm going to become a lesbian. So when I pulled up in front of Hotel Irwin, because I saw her ducking out of the, out of the, uh, window real fast one night and the voice had said, I'm going to bring you to me tonight, Tanner, which Later on, I found out the voice was aliens, but it was, it was aliens, but there was broadcasting some of my thoughts to one of these other sex trafficking victims, and they was using me to get a couple of girls that I had a crush on or had some interaction with. They were just bailing them out of sex trafficking. I didn't even know either one of them was in sex trafficking. One of them was this girl who was wearing like a hoodie, and I walked past her. <clears throat> Anyways... So, but when I pulled up in front of Hotel Irwin, they did release her with another, with two other girls. She was, and one of them was kind of butch looking, I mean, but you could just tell there was something about these girls that was just way different. It was for, they were for sure sex trafficking victims. So...